Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. And we're here to talk about a subject of toxic health and that is brewer's yeast. Now, I've actually been taking brewer's yeast for several months now and I want to show you the label. Here's the label. That's the reason why I've been taking it. I've been taking a teaspoon in a glass of water with each meal. And that's because it's loaded with all of these vitamins and nutrients and I've actually seen my health improve since I've been taking brewer's yeast but the question that I had regarding this product is where does it come from so you actually have to brew some beer to actually fully understand what brewer's yeast is and when you brew beer you have a little keg like this and you fill it with your beer mix that you boil on the stove and the last thing you do after you put your beer mix in here is you sprinkle some active yeast on the top of it now that active yeast consumes all of the sugars and when all the sugars are gone it dies and when it dies it drops to the bottom and that's what we're looking at inside this keg so all that stuff down there is the brewer's yeast it's actually dead yeast cultures that died off when there was no more sugar for them to feed on so that's what the brewing industry does they put it into jars and they sell it as brewer's yeast now you can't use it to bake bread or to brew beer with because it's dead so this is actually dead yeast cultures and you can actually see it in here. So this was one of the beer bottles that I brewed. And if you look down here, you actually see the yeast. So there is the yeast. This was the last bottle that came out of that keg. And it was the most yeast contaminated bottle. So let's brew its yeast for you. So it comes from the brewing industry. And it's completely dead so you don't have to worry about any yeast overgrowth in your intestines when you take the stuff and it's actually very healthy for you i hope you enjoyed the presentation and i wish you the very best of health thank you